Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general Scorpio love reading. How are you doing today, Scorpios? I hope this video is meeting you in high vibrational energy. Uh, I hope you are keeping your beautiful eyes on your prize, Scorpios. Uh, so tap into this joyous June love reading, Scorpios. Uh, shout out to all of my viewers who are viewing this content. If you just so happen to stop by, welcome. Shout out to all of my established subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Shout out to my members, my highly favorite, and my tarot question Scorpios too. Check it out, Scorpio. I am now officially on Patreon. So the things that I'm not allowed to say on this platform, I'm going to be saying over there. Because uh, my channel is being suppressed for whatever reason, you know it is what it is. You know you being, you know how you you target it because you just shine like that, and they probably gonna stump on this video too. But I'm just letting you know. So my videos for now are not gonna be as long now because it's starting to get um starting to get monopolist to put all this energy out here, and most of you guys are not even getting these videos. It's shameful, actually, you know, to be, you know, to have so much power and abuse it. But I'm going to be going over to a Patreon, so I'm going to do this reading. And if you want to dig deeper, if you want me to, um, I'm going to post it over there anyway, but you're going to have to be a Patreon um, member in order to view that content over there. So those are for those who are interested and those who want to continue following me and supporting my uh, my uh, journey here. Thank you guys so much. So let's let's use this deck because we're doing tarot today, Scorpios. Like I said, it's going to be as long uh, because I'm trying to do other things. I'm going to do my other channel. It's going to be um, my other channel. Is, I mean, well, on Patreon, it's going to be for all Zodiac signs, Scorpios. It's not going to just be for Scorpio, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, so that I can, because I'm not, I don't want it to just be one energy over there. I'm going to be doing collective readings and multiple uh, Zodiac signs too. So uh, it should be very, very interesting. I'm still from getting to know it. I'm still trying to get familiar, but I, at least I don't have to deal with the trolls or the uh, the algorithms because the algorithms over here is not fair. Okay. So um, I feel like Patreon would be a nice, a nice, uh, a nice compliment to Brown Eyes Intuition. So Let's see here. So you have the chariot here. Your overall energy is the chariot here. Cancer energy here. Uh, moving forward here, um, uh, after being stuck on a situation here, because something has... Now, this may be somebody around you here. <laughs> this could be somebody around you, Scorpio. Somebody is trying to... Uh, someone is moving away from a toxic situation or... Something has forced something out of your life. So, so some of you Scorpios, you're in the energy where you may be having unexpected things. Some of you guys may have unexpected uh, things happening to your vehicle, like, you know, like your service engine light on. You may have to get an oil change. You may have to do something like that. It may not be major, but I'm just saying some of you guys may um, find out that you're going to have to do some car work here. Uh, but I feel like whatever it is, you're going to prevail and you're going to move forward successfully in it. You're going to be, you're not going to be bothered by it. It's not going to have you stuck and stagnant here, Scorpios. And you could very well be also dealing with someone here who is coming towards you. Somebody here who may be wanting to come towards you after they have experienced a tower moment in their life, Scorpios. Or maybe you were their tower moment here. You have the eight of pentacles here, so... I see a lot of grinding here. I see you on your grind here, Scorpios. I feel like some of you guys here are, um, some of you guys are changing, um, some of you guys are getting a hold of your finances here. Some of you guys may be entering into, some of you guys may have unexpectedly lost your job here too. But I feel like you're not backing down i feel like as long as you stay in this energy and you stay focused on what is important and matters to you scorpios i feel like once again god dang the six of swords god dang scorpios now this may not even be your energy here but it's almost like someone here is really determined to move on someone is determined to move away from the bs here see because a brighter day is up ahead it's not behind you so see, whoever is moving, now, if this could be you moving forward here, determined to move ahead, this is what you're going to be uh, met with is this beautiful opportunity here. Now, someone could be determined to move towards you, and this is what 
is is uh, the opportunity between you and this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. It's like somebody here, <laughs> somebody don't want to play games, or or if somebody used to play games with you and was stagnant and stuck. Like I say, somebody is determined to move past all of that. See, this is the outcome. This Ace of Pentacles, you may have experienced a uh. Uh, you know, your foundation of what you thought you knew because I saw that King of Swords in the reverse. See, Seven of Swords, maybe someone wasn't honest, but time does a lot. Uh, destiny has changed something where someone was uh, taking their time at this Knight of Pentacles or undecided about embarking on this love with you. I feel like they're going to come in and now, Scorpios. Could have been... <laughs> Could have been dealing with a third party, honey. Could have been dealing with a third party. I'm going to clarify these real quick before I pull your other deck. Because like I say, this is <laughs> this is tarot today, baby. This is tarot. All about the tarot cards today, Scorpios. So let's see. So, so far you have uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You got Scorpio. You got uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got Cancer. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with the seven of wands, seven of staffs. It's almost like maybe you were determined to get the heck away from a toxic situation here. It's like you, you know, it's like something may have came down and you determined to let it go once something that may have once had you kind of stuck on it, trapped in it in your head or just feeling like you couldn't move on. You're, you're free, honey. Spirit say you are free, baby. Some of you guys are freeing yourselves here, Scorpios. And like I said, you're going to be met with a beautiful opportunity in this Ace of Pentacles here. So it's a soulmate issue. <laughs> Is this where we're going? Here's your soulmate. Y'all determined. Now, either you're determined to move away from your soulmate or your soulmate is determined to move away from they mess towards you, Scorpio. Let's see. All right, Spirit. What's up this Eight of Swords in the reverse? Eight of Swords. It's the Queen of Swords here. Now, I feel like this is you cutting out things that no longer serve you, Scorpios. Cutting away the conflict, the disagreements, the fussing, the fighting here. Because something better is in store for you. The Ten of Pentacles here. Ooh, Scorpio, what's up with this Eight of Swords? Could be dealing with the leak. Because we just seen the, uh, just seen the King of Swords in the reverse here. Hangman here. See where you were probably waiting and stuck and delayed here. You, I feel like you're cutting all that out here. Now you got the King of Cups here. It's almost like, Scorpio, maybe you didn't know how someone felt about you. Because like I said with that King of Swords in the reverse, maybe someone didn't show you. But I feel like time is time is up. It's what I hear. Time For some of you guys, you're, you're no longer going to wait on a, a, a stagnant relationship. It's like if somebody placed you on pause like they ain't got time or like they're not showing the interest enough to keep this relationship alive. You're, you're going to be the one that's going to cut it out and you're going to break free from it. Why is this chariot here? Cancer energy, because that's that king of cups. So see, I feel like it's somebody coming towards you who's in love, but some of y'all don't care. Three of wands is king of cups. See, and the six of swords here, the six of swords here. Somebody trying to move away from stress. Now, they may feel like they don't want you to be cussing them out and mad at them in this Queen of Swords energy. And they want, they want peace and calm because <laughs> now for you masculines, you could be in this loving energy and you're dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius in this Queen of Swords energy here. And maybe, they, maybe they're very, very uh, detached here. Either, either it's you masculine Scorpios or it's a masculine uh, King of Cups could be a water sign coming towards you. Now, what's up with this tower? Scorpio energy. Why is the tower here, spirit? The tower is the page of pentacles here. So maybe this is something good here. Why is the tower here, spirit? Maybe somebody's about to try to surprise you, Scorpios. This good news. Temperance here. I feel like spirit is maybe telling you if something has came to an end, you ain't got to rush into nothing. Take your time. 
They're watching you. They're always watching. Oh, you could tell it's Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon. You hear the sirens. Hear the dogs. <laughs> now you got the seven of staff. That could be you guarded. Like, uh-uh. Nope. You could have somebody block communication here. Spirit, what's up to seven of staffs? Seven of staffs is the world card. See? Some of y'all meant business here. You standing your ground. You meant that this cycle has to complete itself. You don't want to work it out anymore, Scorpio, but they do. <laughs> you don't want to work it out no more, but they do. Eight of Pentacles. Spirit, what's this? I just found it so strange that it only do that on the sea. Strength card could be a Leo here. Now, it could be somebody here who's just scared of you and they ain't got the strength because after all, and they, and they don't want to move too suddenly. <laughs> it's almost like somebody's trying to take their time of coming to you. It's what I feel like. And they're trying not to be too impulsive and rush in on you. But whoever this person is, I feel like you got them shook, Scorpios. I feel like whoever this energy that's trying to come to you, they're going to be so humble. All right, Spirit, the Six of Swords. Why the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords, see? They say whatever they did wrong, they don't want to deal with it. And it could very well be you moving away from this third-party situation. Heartbreak. And releasing the burden of it. This is why I feel like some of you guys are determined to move away from an unhealthy relationship or the heartache of a relationship while the person who did it is determined to come back. Now you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Six of Wands here. This is this person here is trying to do something to gain your attention here. I feel like this person here may be recognizing that they need to do something big in order to um, they go to Lover's card. All right, Spirit, Ace of Pentacles. And then this could represent you getting a lot of victory and success in your life now that you've moved on. Some of you guys are cold and detached and you focus only on your career here. All right, Spirit, Ace of Pentacles. See, some of y'all finna go get your thing anyway. Without this person, you're going to move on and get something with somebody. And this is your overall energy. I ain't even pulled your spread yet, see? I just want to tap in and see what's going on here. I feel like you got a lot of attention, a lot of recognition, a lot of success, and you have a beautiful opportunity. Some of you guys are about to purchase your first home with this Ace of Pentacles, Six, and, six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups here. So it's like y'all not tripping about somebody. Y'all done took y'all power back and y'all don't care here. And I feel like the more you're determined to move on, the, the more determined somebody is to come back is what I see. So let's see. Now keep in mind, Scorpio, this is general. It's not going to resonate for every single Scorpio, okay? So only take the part that does fit and discard the rest. Because check it out underneath the bottom. You have the strength card. Again, that's Leo energy here. The strength card, the Ten of Pentacles. They go to the Ten of Pentacles again. And they go that Six of Swords again. But I see this Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, the World card again. And the Six of Cups in the reverse. All these cards you saying you don't want that, Scorpio. But I ain't going to do it in your spread. But this is what it's saying here. Okay, let's keep on moving here. So you got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios here? Why is this here in the spirit? Hmm. These cards is heavy. Oh, because somebody trying to come in here and offer their cup of love to you, baby. <laughs> Could be another cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Remember, we just saw the King of Cups in your spread. Let's see. I ain't use them in a while. But there you go again. <laughs> oh, snap, 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 snap. It's like, here they come. And here you looking at them like, what? <laughs> Boy, what? It's like you saying, what? I'm trying to get them face to face. Because it's almost like this person is coming towards you. But this is how it sits on this table here. They're coming to on this table, y'all. Well, no. On this table, your back is to them, okay? <laughs> As this queen of swords, your back to them. And I feel like you're facing this ending. 
this this you, this is your thing. You didn't broke it up here, but but here they come. <laughs> Six of Cups, because they still holding on to you, Scorpio. Very, very obsessively. See, look, they go to Ace of Cups. <laughs> and the Three of Cups, see? Somebody got it bad for you. Now, see, this is why Patreon come in handy because it's a lot of things that I see in here that I can't, I'm not even free to say. <laughs> I can't even say what I see, you know, and it ain't gonna be bad, but it's just it's just it's just the rules and the regulations that you gotta follow. But like I said, some of y'all to turn your back on this person here, Scorpio. But the more you determine to ignore this person and move on with your life, the more that they're determined to pat you on the back. <laughs> Cause this 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 person is facing your back. <laughs> It's almost, and they facing your back with a cup in their hand, and you got your back turned with your sword in your hand. Like, boy, if you say anything to me, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to knock that cup out your hand. <laughs> well, what's this about? We said everything we had to say, uh, Tyrone. <laughs> uh, snap, because all Tyrone can think about. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what's up with this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpios? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. I said the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpios. Spirit, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles is the Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck on a Ten of Pentacles here, feels stuck here, see? When all they want to do is just be free, see? Who, 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 see there? Somebody stuck in, a, somebody made, somebody stuck here. Somebody feels stuck here. Somebody feels stuck to a situation and they just want to be free. They want to be free. Yes, they do. Yeah. They want to be free, Scorpio. And they said, God dang, some got to give in this will of fortune here. And I feel like somebody's about to be free. See? <laughs> oh, snap, 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 snap. That devil energy. They they own one. Whoever this is, they are on one, okay? <laughs> they don't want to be in that Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is, see? Ten of Pentacles. And they're stuck. If, I feel like they're stuck in, stuck to it. But I feel like what they desire is this Nine of Pentacles, See? And I feel like something is about to change. This person could be in some type of toxic codependence relationship. And for some of you guys, this person fought a long-term relationship. They were stuck in their head because they're confused. It's like somebody got a lot of pressure on them. It's almost like somebody's caught between a rock and a hard place here, uh, knowing this, that you may want a long-term, but here they are wanting to remain single here uh, because it's something, maybe it's because I'm going to do the reverse. Maybe it could be a Capricorn. Maybe it's just this person's mind frame here. But once again, with this Wheel of Fortune, that's about to change, though. Let's see what's going on here, okay? Now, for some of y'all, it's because this person is attached to another situation. And for others, this person's mental has them uh, not wanting to be in no long-term relationship because their thinking is off. Because, look, you got love all around. Look, the Ace of Cups right there. Three of Cups. <laughs> See, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Now, for some of you Scorpios, you guys are obsessing over this wealth. This is probably why the Eight of Pentacles keeps showing up because some of y'all, y'all walking away from love and uh, or you're detaching from it right now. And only thing your mind is on is moving from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, and it got you. Because after all, your eyes is on the prize. But obsessively, some of you guys may be stressed over, over this wealth here. You may be, you know, doing too much because you are already sitting here good at the Nine of Pentacles, but for some reason, it's Eight of Swords. It's almost like you feel like you're not going to make it or you're not going to get it. It's something in your mind is making you feel like you're stuck. Stuck It's almost like you're feeling like you're, you're almost there, but you can't get it. Maybe you're overthinking things pertaining to your, your stability here, Scorpios. 
If this is your energy, the nine of pentacles, we just seen the nine of pentacles again. But once again, maybe this is someone here who feels stuck in a re relationship. Or this, this could be somebody here stuck to um, the morals, uh, uh, the beliefs patterns that they grew up under. And it has their, has their mind feeling like they don't want to just settle down. Because this could be something here that was instilled in someone from the legacy, from their family roots here. You know, could have been it could have been somebody here who thought that they're all that here and they don't want to give up this lifestyle here. Somebody stuck though, Scorpio. Let's see. Let me try to move it on so it won't take too long here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. You got Capricorn, you got you got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. And now you got Leo again. Strength card. Somebody trying to be strong. All right, Spirit, why is the strength here? Strength card is the higher fence. Somebody trying to be strong. See? <laughs> I feel like somebody want to give you this, but they may be scared, or maybe it's because of their upbringing. Maybe somebody's scared with their family and what everybody's going to think here, Scorpio. I feel like somebody may be ashamed or, or fearful of what they feel. Because, see, you, you make somebody happy. See? Nine of Cups. And they go that six of cups again. See, this is this is all somebody doing. You could have a Taurus that's obsessively thinking about you, a Cancer, Scorpio, a Pisces here, a Leo, Capricorn here. See, somebody is trying to somebody's trying to be who I think it's almost like somebody's trying to build the courage to give you what you want, Scorpio. Or somebody's trying to build the courage to go build the courage to go after what they want. But something has them stuck. It's that Ten of Pentacles, and like I say, either it's another relationship or it's the foundation of what, what was instilled in them, like their family roots, what their parent, their belief systems may be different than yours. I feel like their, their belief systems may be different. If it's not another romantic relationship, then it's a belief system that I feel like is played out that's about to change here. All right, Six of Swords. Spirit, why is this here? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, four cups here. Now, this could be somebody here afraid to come to you. Uh, see, <laughs> they won't love. <laughs> somebody's afraid, Scorpio. Like I keep saying, somebody's determined to overcome whatever issue that they have. It's almost like for some of you, Scorpio, somebody is afraid because they know that they're going to have to go against their family, okay? They're going to have to go against their family in order to get this happiness with you because I feel like there's some type of difference. Almost like maybe you both are from the different... Maybe you are from different sides of the track here, different religion, different upbringing, different um, geographics, financial situation here. I feel like there's some difference here that maybe has this person stuck. All right, Spirit, Six of Swords. See, there it is again, see? <laughs> it's like this person's really trying to build the courage to come to you, Scorpios. But I feel like something has this person stuck. I feel like somebody is overthinking things because of this devil card here. It's almost like somebody may be saying, well, God dang, my family may not like this. Or what if Scorpio rejects my offer? And it's like something, because I feel like somebody may have hurt you in the past here, Scorpio. But once again, this is someone here who uh, I feel like may have tried to deny their feelings for you. Or maybe you them. Or maybe uh, some of you Scorpios are trying to ignore this person here. Because I feel like they're going to come. Knight of Cups. Spirit, why is this Knight of Cups here for Scorpios? Cancel Scorpio and Pisces. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups. <laughs> See? <laughs> Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. See there, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. They're watching you and keeping tabs on you, Scorpios. Because they want to come in and offer this cup of love to you. The world card here. So you're not with this person here. And for some of you guys, this person's traveling in from across the world here. There's some, see, because they want to work things out. You remember that pre-shuffle? that pre -shuffle? I said you don't want to work things for some of y'all. Y'all in that Queen of Swords energy. Because there you go again. Y'all don't want to work things out with this person more. Because you felt like they were toxic. And whatever they did wrong in this devil energy. 
Y'all do not want to work it out because the Eight of Pentacles showed up in the reverse. But here it's showing that this person is coming in to try to work things out. But this is why they're so afraid of you, Scorpio. Y'all must have gave this person a piece of y'all mind here. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Knight of Cups for Scorpios? And for some of you Scorpios, you've been watching somebody here, see? And you're stressed out about it, coming to this person because you feel like they hot. They, <laughs> It's almost like you did something to somebody. It's like almost like somebody did something to you, your person here. And they know that you ain't playing no games. You don't take that. Um, they, they don't have that old soft, loving, forgiving Scorpio. They got the Queen of Swords that just don't care. The Queen of Swords whose tongue can get very, very loose and toxic and, and stingy like that stingers attached to Scorpio here. And somebody here, for some of you Scorpio males, you're watching this person. You've been keeping tabs and you stressing out uh, because you really want this person. You really want to get back with somebody here. But they may have uh, been very rude and detached to you. So you kind of like, God dang, well, I do want you, but God dang you, you look too hard for me. <laughs> Especially with that King of Cups showing up. It's almost like, like I say, and some of you Scorpios are dealing with a, I feel like some of you masculine Scorpios may be dealing with a feminine air sign. While some of you Scorpio, feminine Scorpios are dealing with a, um, they're showing up in water, but it could be anybody. But I'm saying it's like somebody is a little bit more loving, a little bit more emotional. Where, where, where the King of Swords, even, even, even if it's you got your, your little, your, your little young guy trying to come into you, female Scorpios in this Knight of Cups, they've done something, <laughs> and you're not playing no games, and you have left a memory on them where they already know how you get down if you, if you're done wrong. So this is why someone here is stressed out because. I feel like somebody wants wants to start over with you or someone may want something long-term with you, perhaps. Let's see. Spirit, what's up with this Queen of Swords for Scorpios? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Queen of Swords is the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. This is somebody here who uh, may be taking note, maybe have you... you May, Queen of Swords probably felt like the relationship would just, would just wasn't going to go anywhere because after all, you are... See, cause I can see that because see, after all, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. So it's almost like somebody was stuck between a hard, rock and a hard place. Do I settle down or do I stay to myself? See, this is this is this has been someone's mind frame. But like I say, once again, I feel like all of these things are about to change this person's not going to stay this way, especially if they want you because the Queen of Swords ain't playing no game. She ain't going to stroke your ego. She's not going to take the higher road. <laughs> She's going to take whatever the freaking road she own, and you're going to either take it or you're going to move on that the way. After all, you're trying to come back to Scorpio with this uh, um, Hierophant, Nine of Cups, and a Six of Cups, but you're afraid. You got the strip card twice, but they are afraid. So here you got this Queen of Swords taking stock of the situation, realizing that this you probably felt like this person wasn't going to do anything. You probably felt like this person was holding back, being stingy here. But now here this person is, since you are are, are, are not... See, it's, it's just crazy, but it just holds true here. You got the world card twice, it holds true. When you don't chase after them, when you start acting cold, the totally opposite than what you've been giving them, because you because you can only show love so long if it's not being reciprocated. You're going to feel foolish. So some of y'all Scorpios are at that point where you decided that, oh, you ain't going to play games with me. You don't want what I want. You ain't going to do nothing because it shows it right here. Somebody here was in their head about a commitment about somebody has commitment issues. And I feel like, like you got the world card here twice. Something ended here, but I feel like this person is trying to come back in and start something over. Where is they were, because they got the will of fortune and the devil, where is they were holding back in the past. Now they are holding on to you, wanting to come back from the past. Because now they are stressed out over you and obsessively watching you and stalking you, hoping that you would give them another chance and hoping that you nice. <laughs> hoping you nice now, Scorpio, and this Queen of Swords. Spirit, what's up this Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
just to see there. Because the Queen of Swords said, look here, I ain't giving out no more emotion because you didn't give none in an eye for an eye. <laughs> Until you can come in and balance this out and, and uh, be fair, reciprocation, then I... It's almost like y'all feel like this person wasn't going to... Some of y'all feel like this person could be a Libra. Y'all feel like this person just wasn't treating you fairly, okay? They were taken but not given. And now y'all don't care. The high priest is here. I feel like some of you guys are just... I feel like you've said all you had to say to this person here, Scorpio. And in your mind, I don't have to say nothing else. I already know that, that you didn't treat me right and... For some of you guys, by you not talking to this person here, and it could be that you saying in this Queen of Swords, I, I don't have to say another word. I know what's up. I know you didn't treat me fairly. And it could represent that, that you're not talking no more after you did cuss them out, that they know that they got to come in here with this uh, justice card in order to repair whatever damage that they caused. See, they go to Ten of Cups. Like I said, I see in the Four of Wands. I feel like this is what you see, the Queen of Cups, see? I feel like, you see, this, this is what you wanted with this person here. In the Queen of Cups, when you were loving and nurturing and giving to them, but when you realize, you start taking stock and realize you ain't doing nothing here. You, you ain't going to do nothing. You, you ain't going to build nothing with me here. And I feel like now some of you guys have lost your patience. You moved on at all costs, and now you detach it from this person, and this has got them afraid. Now you got the will of fortune, excuse me, the world again. Why is the world here? So like I feel like this person here is stressed out with the Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, the world, and the Nine of Swords because they're watching you because they know it's over here. The cycle is closed out, but they're watching you because they want to come back and it stresses them out because you put terror in their soul. Now I feel like this world card is the new cycle this is the closing out the cycle, and this is the new opportunity of the new cycle coming in. Because you got the world card twice. Look, see? There it is. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> oh, snap, 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 snap. See, Scorpio, this is why they doing it for you here. Because you didn't show, you didn't show somebody that you deserve it all. <laughs> Oh, snap, you done show somebody that you deserve it all here, Scorpio, by, by standing your ground and moving on with your life here, Scorpio, is what I feel like. See, three of cups, you're going to have cause to celebrate. And for some of you, Scorpio, this ain't got nothing to do with them. I feel like this. You, some of you guys are about to be married to this person. And then for some of y'all, this was a secret that this person was hiding. For some of y'all, this person had a Ten of Pentacles lifestyle with somebody. But for some of you, Scorpios, I feel like this is what the universe is giving for you. You're going to have cause to celebrate on your own because this new cycle brings in abundance for you. Because after all, as the Empress, you are abundant. So y'all might as well get ready to pop them bottles here because you're about to celebrate your wealth here. You got a lot of beautiful, amazing, abundant opportunities since you have persevered and moved forward here, Scorpio. See? Could be dealing with the Libra here. Now you got that Six of Cups again. All right, Spirit, what's up with the Six of Cups? Past life, soul, made reconciliation energy here. Spirit, what's up with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Why is the Six of Cups here? Clarify the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. <laughs> You, you had the tower card in your pre-shuffle too, see? I told you, somebody trying to come back here. Now, for some of y'all, somebody's trying to come back and they finna rock your whole foundation because they trying to come back and they probably gonna stir emotions in you that you had suppressed in this Queen of Swords energy. See, some of y'all gonna hold back and then some of y'all, this person's holding on to you, see? This person holding on to you. Four of Pentacles with the Lover's card and the freaking Eight of Wands. So some of y'all, this person is coming back to you. <laughs> but I feel like it's because they had to choose between you and somebody else, Scorpio. This is why it was hard for this person. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles here. This was, this was hard on somebody here. Because whatever they were in, they were in. In order for them to be with you, they would have to be like this. Because you know the Empress ain't going. See? And this person, well, either this person was in a, in a toxic or just in a another relationship here. 
a, co a, a look, a third party is toxic because you know somebody gonna somebody gonna come up short and it, it never really works. They got the four pinnacles twice, four pinnacles, four pinnacles. I feel like this person may be having a realization here, or this person is having a experience a tower moment here, and they're holding on to you because you know they're holding on to you. That's the six of cups. Right here, you have the strength card. I feel like this person is trying to uh, stand in their power, have the courage to come in for this relationship. Someone here who brings them a lot of emotional fulfillment here is somebody from their past who they're trying to come back to, which is the same Six of Cups right here. And the lover's card, which is a choice. Decisions here. It keeps showing up. Someone is deciding, y'all. So I'm just saying somebody trying to decide or have decided about who they want to be with. So now you got this four of pentacles again. Spirit, why is the four of pentacles here? Four of pentacles is the knight of pentacles. Now I feel like this person has been holding on to you, slowly making their way to you, Scorpio. But once again, this person had to fight their way to this connection here after they released a burden here. See? See that? There it is. I told the will of fortune change this. Because I feel like somebody was stuck in a situation here, but they're drawn to you, the soulmate here. This person find themselves holding on still to you, but they couldn't get to you. They were coming because they had to overcome this. This is why in your pre-shovel, you had the chariot card. Somebody had to overcome this, whatever this confusion or conflict that they were dealing with. Now, whether it was inner or external, about this connection and whatever this five of wands is i feel like they're releasing it in this ten of wands could be an aries because here they are wanting to come in here and take a leap of faith or wanting you to give them another chance now you have the devil capricorn energy spirit what's up with the devil for scorpio got the devil twice Seven of Cups, because this person was confused. This person was just a confused person. <laughs> yeah. And lo and behold, look who was confused. The emperor was confused. Maybe they had too much stuff going on in their life. This person didn't know who they could trust here, Scorpios. Because this person here was some somebody in power, of, of power. I feel like they were wealthy because you got the Ten of Pentacles twice. This is somebody here who was powerful. And this person had a lot of people that they could have been with, but it didn't do nothing but bring in a lot of... It's like this person's power brought in, attracted a lot of negative energy here around them. It's a lot of people who I feel like this person was an overthinker anyway. And I feel like the people who, all the people around them, they category everybody the same. So I feel like even if this person may have entertained other people, they didn't do them no more than they did you. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's this person. This is their life, the Ten of Pentacles. They were stuck. Who do, who do they choose? Who do they settle down with? Or should they just stay single? Because once again, their mind here. It's just like this person overthinks a lot. This person has a lot to offer, the Ten of Pentacles, and they swear everybody out to get them. But once again, something is changing all of that. And what is changing all of that, Scorpio, is not only is it because of the soulmate connection, but it's also because you are the empress here because they're showing up as the emperor. See, you're not like all of the rest. You're not like the rest of the people this person is used to entertaining here. You're different here. You came with a very, very strong spiritual contract and a, because you got the uh, justice card here. You guys have a soul contract here. Because you're the one that's abundant. You're the one that's supposed to balance this person's energy out. Because this is a person here who is scary, y'all. You know how you've been around wealthy people and, 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 and it's logical. It makes sense. It's like somebody is finally trying to stand in the courage to come in and, and, and go after something who they know if they give this to you is going to make you happy and in return it's going to make them happy. This commitment, this higher fin here. Got the strength card. Got the strength card twice, see? This person here is trying to have the strength to conquer this new opportunity in love because they know with this empress god dang it they gonna have to be in for the long haul this ain't this this ain't the average person that you just randomly date no this is a long-term 
energy that you're showing up in as this empress here. And not to mention you are a soulmate of their Scorpio. So you got the world card over here, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Three of Cups. Like I say, some of you guys are, for some of you guys, you're about to celebrate this union with this person here, Scorpio. You're about to celebrate this union with this person here, okay? You got the Devil card here, the Emperor, Seven of Cups here, with this Seven of Swords and this Five of Swords here, see? See, this person thought that everybody was out to use them. You got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, see? This is what this person did. They, they tried to put you in the same category as everybody else, but they're finding out that you're nothing like everybody because everybody else wanted, wanted something from them with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person wasn't trusting nobody, so they had the nerve and audacity to try to put the Empress in the same category. But this person sees clearly now that you're nothing like all the rest of them, Scorpio. See? Because you have... This is, this is what they see. This is what how they see clearly now. With this tower card and this six of cups, that you're not like the rest of them. See, and they realize that it's something about your energy that they're still attached to. And they're choosing you in this lover's energy and they're wanting to move forward with you and come on and pick things back up. Because I feel like ain't nothing going on because I feel like you cussed them out the last time you talked to them. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, you can meet me over there on Patreon for the extended version or to go just a little bit deeper in this energy, Scorpios. I would I really appreciate you guys if you support me. For those who are interested, uh, I will make sure I leave that in the description box below as well. So uh, thumbs up this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.